Uh, we had a nice easy spiders day today, about an hour and a half, and uh, you know came out healthy. Uh, guys don't know how to slow down. That's a problem in spiders. This guy's going to go full speed. But uh, scrimmage tomorrow, go to Acrisure, you know, get a few plays in there and, and uh, see what we got. Is Ben the best golfer on the team? Can you clear that up? Is that what he's saying? I mean, I he know. said he's pretty good. I would probably say he's not the best golfer on the team. I would just throw that out there. But, you know, we'll have to have a golfing tournament. Yeah. We were just talking to Javon, um, you know, he was saying how excited he is to get down there and, and actually hit during some live periods tomorrow. Do you, do you like the physicality he brings to that boundary safety spot? Yeah, I mean, you watch him fill down in, in the box in the, in the bowl game against UCLA. I mean, he likes to he likes to come down there. You know, Steph Hall does too. They all better. You know, Donovan McMillan, I mean, you know, all those guys like to get down in the box. But, uh, you know, um, just want to make sure he's doing the right thing at the right time. That's what, is, what you got to make sure. What is it about the mentality that you guys seem to always get those? I mean, I remember you telling us when Damari came back from his injury and, like, he tackled somebody when you guys didn't even have pads on. It seems mm -hmm. like it's a thing. You get your DBs love to hit people. Well, I think it's just the attitude that we try to play with. And, you know, um, they play hard and try to get them going full speed. If you got to play with effort, and, you know, sometimes it's hard to slow down. Um, like yesterday, MJ Devonshire got a pick, and Jacoby, you know, basically, you know, killed MJ, you know, <laughs> and it was a whiz period. He wasn't supposed to stay up, and and uh, but um, you know, it's just playing, playing hard. You got to play this game fast. You can't play at half speed because um, everything's off when you do that. Is that a mentality you look for when you're recruiting guys as well? You know, guys who just want to play hard and go the extra? No question about it. I mean, you're always looking for guys that play with effort, play hard, you know, play with excitement. You know, a guy gets a sack and then he walks back to the huddle like, you know, like Jerry. I mean, you don't want those guys. <laughs> got to have some, got to have a little bit of sweat. So you're always looking for guys playing with energy. And then again, you try to coach it. You know, you can coach that, you know, to, to get them to play with enthusiasm. You know, Crumpley's out here. Getting extra ball drills. He's so, it's like, he's like a different guy. He's kind of a kind of a deer in the headlights. He's got so much more juice to him right now, but it's it's taken a you know year and a half to get that done. What's been yeah. the biggest difference in Javon's growth from late last season? He had a couple of really good games to close it out to where he's at now. Um, you know, just again, he's working at the mental part of it, I think more than anything. I think he's a talented kid that's got the ability to be a really good player, but he just it's more confidence, I think, knowing what you're doing and you know, he had two major busts in the bowl game. I mean, big time. I mean, Eric Cowell gets beat on a post. It's man free. We got a guy in the middle of the field, which is usually not the case. And, you know, we surprise them. They throw a post. You know, Eric's sitting on the ground at the goal line like, where's my help at? You know, uh, he jumped outside leverage. So the mental part of it is as, as important as the physical part of it. So that's what he's gotten better at, I think, in the offseason with a bunch of meetings. Yeah, what's the big thing you're looking for tomorrow? You know, I'll say it all the time. You guys know the first one is to come out of it healthy. But I want to see our guys play. Um, you know, coaches on the sideline, let them go and, you know, just find out who the players are, you know, in that stadium, I think. And, um, you know, I want to see, I want to see the offense move the ball, although I want to see the defense stop. You know, it's one of those, um, you know, I want to see you know, our deep shots that we missed a year ago. I'd like to see us connect on a few of those. Uh, we've done that in the first, you know, six practices. So it'd be good in Acrisure to see it, you know, line up that way. And I would say that it's difficult to find good kickers, but you find three in a row in your time here, Blewett, Kessman, and now Ben, what's, what's been the secret for those guys? Yeah, you know, I didn't find uh, I didn't find uh, uh, Blewett, but uh, I'll you, take Blewett. You inherited, yeah, I okay. inherited him. But uh, um, yeah, what's the secret? You know, I wish our secret was as good as the, at the punter situation at, at times. But uh, um, you know, just evaluate. It comes down to evaluation, and you know, we knew Ben was a great kicker out of high school. It took him a while just to mentally be as mature as he. I don't think. You know, a year and a half ago, he could stand in, you know, by this 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 microphone and even carry a conversation. Um, but now he's so much more mature. Guys got to grow up, and but we knew we had a leg. I mean, there's very few times we offer scholarships to kickers out of high school. Usually, they got to come walk on, you know, spend a couple years, and then you know, get that scholarship from the guy prior to. Uh, so that's usually, as a matter of fact, you know, I think Kessman. I think we did offer him out of high school. So, you know, if they're good enough, we're going to offer them. How's punting coming along? You know, I think right now, you know, punt team is uh, is looking, you know, pretty decent. Again, un unfortunately, we've been stuck in here, so we're hitting the roof a lot. Uh, so we'll find out a little bit more when we get to go outside. Pat, Pat, with, uh, yeah. Pat with, with the kicker, uh, how much of it is Andre? And you've been, you guys have been together a long time. What is it that he does that to help those guys? Um, you know, you're talking to place kickers. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's funny. You know, Andre's a special teams coordinator. You know, Coach Partridge really works with the kickers as well. He's kind of the kicking guru, um, you know, as far as just some of those little details. So he's with those kickers. He'll meet with them and talk with them. And again, the, the thing with the kickers, they always have a personal coach. So there's times during the season they'll send their tape, you know, to their little kicking guy wherever he is around the country. 
and, uh, and you know, see what they think about them as well. So they have, all have their personal coaches. Pat, each, each year, one of the things that you talk about midseason is playing fast, but also st guys sticking to their roles, not jumping outside of their roles, trying to play hero ball. And that build, when guys do that as a collective, it builds chemistry. What's the challenge of doing that when you guys, you guys change safeties? Like uh, this past year, you had Eric and Brandon, now you're moving to Donovan and Javon. And of course, you did that with DeMar and Paris moving into Brandon. What's the mm -hmm. challenge to get those guys to buy in and keep the continuity when you're doing changes like that? Um, you know, that's that's what college football is all about. You're, you know, guys are going to graduate, they're going to move on, and and uh, you know those guys have been ready. It's not like they're just all of a sudden you know buying in now. They bought in a year ago. They just had to wait their time, and they get five plays a game. They get five plays. Try to make it the five best plays you can. But uh, you know they bought in a long time ago, I think. And you know PJ O'Brien is, is is probably leading the show out there with those guys. And um, you know um, it's what it is. It's what they do. You know, it's just waiting waiting to be that next guy. How has uh, Donovan been? two weeks of camp. He's been good. Um, he's been good. We want to see a little bit more live. We've only done, you know, uh, with the practices we've had so far, six in, you know, three of them have been spiders. So we got three in pads and I think we've had probably, you know, I would say probably, you know, one hour of, of total contact where you were live. So we haven't done a lot of live. Uh, I think we've had two periods a day of some type of live. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, what we do when it's a, a lot of live. Has he looked like the player you thought he might become three or four years ago at Peters Township? No question about it. You know, we're happy with where he is, and he's learning. He's probably the new guy back there trying to learn it all, but he's picking it up. He's picking it up well, and uh, we're happy with where he is right now.